Hey guys, Bobby Khan reporting from Micro Fitness Studio. Today's topic is improving your healthy eating habits and how long does it take to eat healthy consistently? That's the question, how long does it take? So how long does it take? It all depends on, first of all, individual. You know, how the individual is, the willpower, and where the person is, uh, like in the stage, is he or she, or like big, meaning, sorry to say, fat, uh, have been eating crap for the last 20 to 30 years to 40 years and then they want to change the lifestyle for the for the better uh, or if the person has been on enough training and been good but fall off the track and gain some body fat and and now want to get back again so for that person it'll be easier because this person has already done the training before has done some diets you know different kind of diets and um, it's more like a vero what's ahead and it takes a bit time to get on track of the healthy eating again. But this is for you guys out there that have always been eating unhealthy foods for the last 20 to 30 years, Joe Public, normal people, you know, uh, family people, housewives, uh, you know, dads, you know, who work and um, who just basically want to get in shape, man. Like this, this is for you guys. This is not for the guys or girls who are athletes because obviously uh, if you're an athlete, if you are in the bodybuilding or fitness or uh, MMA, boxing, you name extreme sports, they are on a whole different level. We should not look at them because they are on the different level. They are like machines. They know if they fail to eat and train, they will lose. So they are on a different level. We should not look at them. So this topic is mainly for normal people who just wants to stay in shape, who wants to get lean, get rid of the body fat, and uh, just be healthy, man, like, you know. So this is the question I get a lot from my clients. I deal with it every day. I've been dealing with it for the last, I've been in the industry for 20 years myself, and, uh, you know, I've been PTing for almost 15 years, um, and this is the topic I always clash with, with the clients, you know, about the food, the nutrition. Listen, training is the easy part. As I mentioned many times before, training is the easy part, even though it's tough training, uh, but training can be done no matter what. But the food thing is you got to be consistent. It's the individual, the person controls the food, what he or she puts in the mouth. So coming back again of the topic today, improving your healthy habits and how long does it take to eat healthy consistently? That's my humble opinion, guys. It takes time, okay? It takes time. So just imagine a person who has been eating crap, meaning unhealthy processed food, takeaways, fast food, stopping at McDonald's, uh, KFCs, and at the canteen eating rubbish like uh, you know all the junk, you know fries and burgers for 20 to 30 years. Imagine that. How do you expect that person something like this within two weeks are is going to eat healthy? There's no chance. It takes time. It takes time. And that's why I keep telling people out there it takes time. There's a lot of things on the internet, social media, you know, they say, okay, 12 weeks, and then after this, you know, uh, the person's like that. That's fine. It, it, it's doable. But you gotta be strict on the bloody diet. You're gonna be strict on the car. You're gonna be strict on the training. It's 100% everything the training, the diet, the cardio. But let's go back again to how long does it take? And that's what I keep telling people and I'm telling you guys out there. Listen, there's, there, there are many people with different ideology and different you know, uh, way of doing the diet. I am sharing my ideology, my way, my method that I've learned over the years. And my thing is very simple. I don't believe in the fake diets. I don't believe in the yo-yo diets. I believe in eating healthy. It's, first of all, changing the mind up here. All right? Listen, I've been there myself in the beginning. I thought there were miracle diets that you can get in shape. Unless you're genetically gifted. That's another topic. I will come into that one day also about genetics. But today we're just going to stick to this now. Otherwise, I'll be bab babbling everything in one go. And we don't have much time. The main thing is, first, we got to control our mind. It's a discipline. It's just like, guys, when we go to work, all right, we go to work, what do we do? We set the alarm, we have a roster, or we, 
you know, we set the alarm clock for the morning. We have a roster. We know the coffee is ready in the morning. Uh, you know, the toothpaste is there, the toothbrush is there. You know, we know where the car keys are. It's like a discipline we create when we start working, right? As simple as it is with the healthy food, the lifestyle. It's a discipline. So first thing we got to control the mind is the discipline. Once the discipline starts, then the habits start changing for the better. So my answer to this is, it takes some time. It's how hungry you are to be on that track of healthy eating consistently. Now, again, there's no way that anyone is eating 110% consistently unless they have a disease that they can't eat sugar or they can't eat this. But if you have a sweet tooth, listen, I have a sweet tooth, but if you also have a sweet tooth or you have a craving for some savory stuff or whatever it is, right? Of course you want to have it. But with the healthy eating is you make a discipline that you have it once or twice a week, maybe in the weekends with your loved ones, your family, your friend, your wife, your husband, your kids, or by yourself. You enjoy it. You enjoy that treat, that cheat, whatever you call it, man. You enjoy it. But Monday to Friday, you got to stick to the plan to see and get results. So that's what I tell the guys, the clients I have, the people I meet. I used to do in the seminars back in the days, and I still stick to it. Stick to healthy nutrition. Find out what works. If you don't know what works, do your research. Get in touch with someone in your area who knows about the training, the diet and everything, get in touch with them. So it's very hard for a person who's not been eating healthy at all for so many years to start suddenly eating healthy. It's not gonna work. It's gonna take time. It's gonna take time to master for that person to actually change all the bad habits, eliminating all the processed food, all the takeaways, all the fast food, all the sugary stuff that they have in the ca in, in the cupboards or the fridge, you know, eliminate all that, it takes time, right? That's why a lot of people fall off of the healthy diet after two weeks or even one week if they survive. I would say even one week if they eat consistently, that's freaking awesome. But after two weeks to one week, they fall off the bandwagon because it's hard. So what I'm trying to say here, it's not easy. Like it doesn't come like this. It will take weeks, months. It will take time to master eating healthy, making a healthy lifestyle for life. If you're out there struggling and you're thinking, hey, the weight is not falling off, this and that. Don't worry, it will fall off. It's consistency. But then again, unfortunately, people want quick fixes in life. They don't want to work hard. Or if they try to work hard, it's too tough for them. That they say, hey, screw it, man. I'm going to go on this diet. Because this diet is just like a water and lemon diet, for example. I'm, I'm just making it up, right? There's so many different diets. It's not even a diet, in my opinion. It's a fade crap thing that you cannot sustain for life. Or even for months. So you see over the years, we had like uh, Atkins diet, we had um, low carb, high fat diet, high, low fat, high protein, carb, low fat, I don't know, there were so many. And then we went to the intimate fasting, and then we went over to the veganism, the pescatarian. Hey, listen, I have respect for everything except those kind of diet that is not natural, right? You could be a vegan, you can be a pescatarian. If I don't even know if I'm pronouncing these things right. <laughs> Sorry, my, my accent is whack, okay? Maybe I can not put that so blah, blah, blah. I mean, I can speak in Danish or I can speak in other languages also, but the vegan, the pescatarian, or whatever they are, I have, I have respect for them, man. Like, there's, there's space, there's plenty of space for all of us, right? The main thing is eat healthy and controlled calorie diet. That's the main thing to stay healthy and get in shape. A little bit more videos about nutrition, training, cardio. And uh, again, guys, the, this is my way of doing, this is what I believe in. And I know probably some of you are sitting out there and they're saying, no, no, this is just going to be like that. And I think respect to you guys, man. Uh, I, my bottom thing is like, I believe in real food, but the food needs to be healthy and it needs to also be controlled what you put in the mouth.
it needs to be controlled okay uh, I don't believe in fake diets I don't believe in processed type of diets the liquid diets uh, the diet that you do like uh, quick fixes where you lose the, the weight but what are we losing listen you have water tension weight in your body you have muscles that weigh also in your body and you have uh, fat that weighs in, in your body okay not to mention about the bones you can't really get rid of the bones right you need the bones the thing is the fade diets guys just 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 think about it you would just lose the water tension first then the next part is the muscles because the human body is designed to preserve the body fat but that's another story that's another topic i'll come into that i'm no like uh like a guru in, like i hate being too scientific because it's just not me i just want to keep everything simple this is what i tell my clients i said listen and the people around us said this is this is what you can, if you can eat, listen, if you can eat this and you be consistent on this and you can do this cardio, you can do this kind of training that suits your body, man, then be on. But we got to be consistent. So again, discipline, change the mind, consistency. All right, guys, I'm out from here. Take care and uh, train hard and smile.